so death loop is out and uh these pc reviews are uh kind of staggering bro so everybody's saying like the game is good up until a certain point where it just takes a fucking shit on everybody's system and it just started fucking stuttering everywhere there's so many people saying it stutters so bad uh and i don't and this one dude says it's because of the anti-piracy thing that Bethesda puts in their games that make them run shit on PC. I don't really know because I don't play games on PC. Not really. Just the games that are only on PC that I, I want to play. But if it's on console, I'm definitely getting it on Xbox. And there's no if, ands, or but about it. Like, it's just easier to play game on console. You don't have to deal with all these factors and shit that go into gaming. Even though you can have a better experience. The work for a better experience is is it outweighs the the a better experience part, especially with anti piracy. Where he said like the people that stole the game has a better performance than people that bought it because of the shit that goes into these games on PC. And I'm like, well, like some of these get good reviews though. Some of them got some, but some are fucking bad. He paid twenty hours, bro, and he like the game's fucking mid. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like performance issues aside it's pretty neat he got 17 hours in and i like that they get to do this they show how long you played it before you wrote a review so like oh dude with like fucking <laughs> 80 minutes in the game like like what the fuck are you doing like you played the tutorial he said he played the tutorial and then it took a shit it, it went from 120 to 50. He like, fuck this game. He had to flex his PC numbers. You know, he had the 3090. You know, he got a, a 5800X, nigga. DDR4, 36. <laughs> 30, bro, his RAM is top tier. 3600, bro. He like, hey, my, my megahertz are high, bro. Like, I'm, I'm pushing mad speed. Why the fuck is my, my game not running right? He was going off. The other people was like, hey, this is a good game. They played five hours. They're like, hey, this shit good. I don't write reviews. And this one, oh, man. They went in. They like the immersive sim part. They like, bro, it's a fucking walk in the park ass game, bro. We played 11 hours. He like, this shit too easy. <laughs> he like, they hold your hand the whole time, bro. I'm like, damn. I don't think, I don't think Death was a bad game. Not from what everybody's saying. They saying like some people saying like, oh, it's mad too easy, bro. Like the the versatility of the game is dead because they make it so easy. And I'm like, it is on. It is a PlayStation Five like marketed game. You know, Sony only make easy ass games, bro. I don't, I don't think they released a game that was too hard for people to play. Like, even God of War was linear as hell. Like yeah, you can turn it on hard mode, but you still walking through the same shit over and over again. They didn't make it really hard for you to do anything except fight more people. Which I guess is all they really could ask. Spider-Man's the same way. Like, the game's never going to be hard. Quick time events, some boss battles and shit. Like, even on the hardest difficulty, it's still going to be an easy game to play. Nothing really changes with difficulty other than, like, damage taken. And after a while, that's a fucking stretch. Love this game. But could run better. Yeah, everybody's saying like it performs really bad on PC. Which is sad. Like, <laughs> stuttering. Absolutely unplayable. 10 out of 10. <laughs> See, I never I never look at gaming media for reviews. I have to look at actual people, bro. Like, actual real people. People, because people that write these fucking paragraphs, you know they want people to read this shit. They're not writing this paragraph just to be like, oh man, this game fucking sucks. Like, people that write one sentence, they have a chill radio or something. What does that have to do with the game, bro? 10 out of 10? Get out of here. That ain't what we want here. We want to see stuttering an absolutely unplayable 10 out of 10. That's what I want to see. I want to <laughs> see the bad reviews. Because if the bad reviews are not that bad, then that mean it's not that bad. But look, he flexing his PC numbers too. And what do you say? The micro stuttering. Everybody's concerned about. <laughs> he played seven hours. He reviewed it at two hours. But he played more after he reviewed the game. Completely updated drivers. Wait, what did he say? Oh. 
Oh, he just saying what he put his on, and uh, it runs better. I'm like, oh, see, look, he's trying to help his fellow PC players out. He like, hey, put these stats in, and it's gonna work for you. Hopefully, but oh, dude flexes his numbers, and he like, bro, my shit not running. I'm at 1440p. Everybody comparing to the designer, yeah. There's a lot of designer comparisons. But yeah, that's the that's the death loop review territory. It's it's highly mixed, bro. Sixty five percent. Like PC people are really upset about performance, mostly because of the freaking anti anti theft system. <laughs> there was so much about the anti theft system. I don't know where those went. This dude talk about infinite ammo, but I forget where the anti theft system thing is. That's like destroying the game. It was more than one person that said it. But the reviews, they they shifted when I actually went to the review page. All the reviews just changed. But yeah. That's death loop for you. I wonder what they are on PlayStation 5. I don't have a PlayStation 5. I can't read it. I will look at Metacritic. But you know, everybody on there is just some hoes. Who the fuck goes to Metacritic to give a fucking review? Besides people that get paid for it. And childish people. But that's going to be it for this. So thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.